Hello, this is Pastor Michael welcoming you to our Christmas celebration. We will grow in faith, celebrate this wonderful season, and learn more about Jesus. Please join us every day for Spirit Calling Kids. Tell your friends to join us, too, we may have some special surprises. And so it was, that, while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And, lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for, behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. Gifts from Santa represent the good feeling of God's love. And while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. Luke 2 6. Well, Christmas is almost here, just a few more days, and everyone will be celebrating the birth of Jesus. That's right, we are celebrating the birth of Jesus. We elves learn at a very young age that Christmas has little to do with Santa and presents as it does with the birth of Jesus. I know that elves are raised to work in Santa's factory, but we make toys to help spread the cheer of Christmas and the spirit of Christmas. Santa brings toys to all the girls and boys because he wants everyone to feel what it is like to have Jesus in their hearts. Having Jesus in your heart is like feeling the joy of having something new and exciting. The toys only represent the love that God showed the world through the birth of Jesus. All the elves know that we work all year long, so Santa can share Christmas presents so all the girls and boys will know what it is like to receive the gift of God's love. When you receive a gift from Santa, you will also feel the joy of having Jesus born in the manger at Bethlehem. That's why we work so long and hard at the North Pole, we know we are building more than toys. We are helping everyone feel God's love. So remember, Santa's presents represent the excellent feeling of God's love. How are you today, my precious child? I hope you are getting excited about Christmas. It won't be long now, just a few more days. Do you have your stocking hanging up somewhere? I hope your tree is decorated if you have one. Perhaps you have the outside of the house decorated for Christmas. All of those things help make Christmas feel more festive, don't they? People decorate and buy gifts because they are celebrating the birth of Jesus. Did you know that all of the decorations have a special meaning to represent the birth of Jesus? The Christmas tree represents the everlasting life Jesus brought to us through the forgiveness of sin. Christmas trees are always green, unlike trees that lose their leaves in the fall. Christmas wreaths are always green and are formed into a circle. A circle represents everlasting life or life with no end. If you hang Christmas stocking up to be filled, it is a symbol of Jesus as well. The stocking represents your life waiting to be filled by Jesus. The presents you will receive at Christmas represent the presents Jesus received from the three wise men. People do a lot to decorate their homes to help them get in the Christmas mood. It all points to one thing. My child, Christmas is the birth of Jesus, no matter how we decorate it. I hope your home was warm and beautifully decorated for Christmas. I also hope you will receive all the beautiful presents you asked for, my child. Most of all, I hope you find the spirit of Christmas in your heart, which is Jesus. Jesus is a gift I gave to you 2000 years ago. Do things to help you celebrate the gift today. Decorate, hang lights, and give gifts. They all point toward the greatest gift of all time. Jesus is the most excellent gift I ever gave.
Thank you for joining us today. This is Pastor Michael along with our good friend, Bolt. We hope you had fun and learned about God. I pray that you will join us tomorrow so we can continue to grow in faith. Let's join Amelia, Quinn, Addie, and Alice as we close with the Spirit calling blessing. May God bless you. Merry Christmas from Amelia, Quinn, Addie, and Alice. May God truly bless your home, family and life during this season of joy and happiness. We pray that even if you didn't get everything you wanted, hopefully you got all the things you needed. May God's Christmas blessings continue to flow into your life throughout all of 2023. May next year be the best time of your life. <laughs>